Hello guys, welcome back. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. Now in this tutorial, we will start with our first lightning web component. So we'll use command palette in order to write our commands. So in order to open the command palette, you have to type in control shift P and then the command is create lightning web component and the file name will call it as first example. This is the default directory and hit enter. So under the LWC folder, you will see the first example component is created and that folder has three files. One is the .html file, which looks like this and it has a template tag open and a closing tag. So this is the starting place that we have to do. Any tags that you write inside has to go under this template tag. Then it also creates a .java, .javascript file. All the JavaScript related code means any properties that you have declared or any handlers that you have created will go under this JavaScript file. The first statement of the JavaScript file is an import statement. So we are importing the lightning element base class for the lightning web component. And then it is importing it from this particular module called LWC. So we are importing this lightning element class from the module LWC. And all the code that is related to JavaScript, creation of the properties or any handlers, etc., will go under these parentheses. And the first statement of this class is an export statement. So we are exporting all these things that we write under, which is we are exporting it, and this is what we are importing it. Okay, and the name of the class is first example, and it extends from the lightning element. The next thing is the configuration file. Now in the configuration file, it provides the API version and it has a is exposed attribute or you can say it is set to false. In order to make this component available for the lightning app builder or community builder, we need to set this attribute to true. That is very, very important. So we need to set this to true. For every lightning web component, if you want to be uh, make it available for the lightning app builder, you have to set this to true. We'll go ahead and the very simple first thing we're going to do is we're just going to use the h1 tags here and I will say hello Deepika. That's all I'm going to say. Hello Deepika. And then we'll leave the JavaScript file as it is. We won't make any changes here. And then inside of our configuration file, we need to set up some targets. Now we need to make this lightning web component available for record page or a home page or a app page, we need to set the target. So we have to go ahead and uh, use this targets properties and we need to set individual targets. So if you want to make this component web component available for a lightning record page, all you need to do is you have to say lightning record page. So this will make it available under the record page. If you want to make this component available for a home page, you have to say lightning home page here. So this component will be available for the home page. And the third thing is if you want to available, make it available to the app page, you have to say set the target here, lightning app page. So this will make it available for the app page as well. So this is the very common statement that we have to write in the configuration files all the time. So the first thing you have to set this is exposed to true and then you also need to set the targets. So if you only set it up for record page, this component will only be available for the record pages. If you have set up only for home page, then this will only be available for the home page. Then if you have only set up for the app page, then it will only make it available for the app pages. But if you have provided all the targets, so this component can be added either on a record page or on a home page or on a app page. Now, once we have created our first lightning web component, we have to push these changes to the org. So we'll go ahead and say push and that is going to push it to the org. So on the, the bottom right side here, you can see it's running this command push source to the default scratch org. And once it is pushed, we are going to go ahead and make that component or add that component to one of the home pages. Okay. So the command is successfully run. Now we are going to open our default org and then it is going to open the default org in the browser. Now here, let's go ahead and open an app. Let's say we open a service app here. 
and uh, we want to add the component that we just created on this page. So we'll go ahead and hit the edit page here. So go to set up the gear icon and we'll edit the page and we will add our lightning web component on this home page. Hit the edit page. Now under the custom components, you will see the first example, the web component that we just created. Now if the is exposed was set to false, then this component will not have been available here. So just because you have set the attribute to true, that why the component is available. And now we're going to go ahead and move this component over this assistant here and then hit the save button. So we have added this on the home page and you're going to go ahead and activate it. Hit the save button, activation, and assign as the org default. And then hit the save button. So now what will happen is this component is added on our home page. So let's go ahead and hit the back and let's see if the if you can see the component on the home page. So we have the service app open and you can see the home page is there and then hello Deepika appears on this. So we've added our first lightning web component and it was very simple. All we did was we created the lightning web component and we just used an HTML tag called h1 and then we have written a simple text here hello Deepika. With this you should know that whenever we create the lightning web component three files get created .html, .js and a configuration file and uh, you always need to remember that the you have to write it in the camel case okay so the first letter would be small so whenever you are creating web components always use the camel case file camel case notations okay so this is our first lightning web component